Hey, my guinea pig. You saw in my previous video that I could compile a C Amiga program from my Linux machine. And I just wanted to just yeah, teach you how to do that in this uh, science nibble. So let's get started. You will need, you will need five things. Uh, so the first one is the compiler itself, like this VBCC. Uh, the latest version I got is 0 0.9. Uh, it's quite slow, this uh, compiler, but it still works. Uh, then I realized kind of the hard way that you need specific uh, configs for Unix. You might not need that for, for your own environment, but on my uh, Arc Linux, I really needed that to, to make it work. Um, I, I'll, send, I'll put all the links in the, in the description below. Uh, but the C compiler doesn't work by itself, right? Um, it generates usually uh, assembly, so you need uh, an assembly language, an, an assembler basically. Uh, so I use this one, the VASM. Uh, and once you have the modules, right, you, have, you need a linker to link all those uh, compiled uh, modules. Uh, and this is the one that this compiler can use, uh, called VLink, right? The last part you need to be able to compile Amiga binaries on your um, Linux machine, but it should be close with uh, Windows and uh, and, um, and uh, Macintosh actually. Uh, you need the headers for the Kickstart, right? So that you can find that on the web also. It's a little bit harder, but um, uh... all right. Let's start to build VBCC then. So here, you need to set up something to uh, only compile for... Uh, this this uh, compiler is actually uh, able to compile for a lot of various targets, right? And uh, we don't, we only care about like uh, 68,000. So let's, let's go, let's go in. I am uh, kind of lazy to, to put that in an environment. I just put it there. So I'm done with it. Oh, so here it complains because it cannot compile uh, to in uh, bin. So you need to make a, a destination directory called bin. So here I I just basically say yes to everything, and that seems to work. Just the default one, basically. Cool. So you see now we, we've created in there a compiler for, for Amiga. Now we need, if we try to compile with this, it, it will it will ask for the other ones, right? So uh, let's make uh, let's make the other one too. So we're going to start with the, the assembler. So here, same thing, right? You need to set up your your target. So let's let's do this. So I had to set up those three ones, uh, basically the target, the CPU, and the syntax. Target ex extension is, is empty, it's normal. Uh, then if I try to compile, it asks me for again another um, output directory. So here we go. We should have now Yeah, yeah, we have our our cross compiler there. Cool. Next one. Uh, v link. Hopefully this one is Okay, directly. Yes, it is. Suppose all the things at the same time. Oh, we have been in there. So what, what's left? Uh, we have the C compiler, the assembler, and the linker. So let's let's copy the. Uh, let, let's let's basically build our destination um, directory, right? Uh, so I'll, I'll install that in VBCC in. Um, 
in my route. We'll need a, a bean. Uh, we'll need also a config, right? To store the configs. And, and let's see. Now uh, let's go to VBCC. So we have some binaries there. Just copy them all. Next one is uh, assembler. Okay, and finally the linker. Uh, now we need the configs. So configs are basically, uh, if you look at them, um, let's take for example the, the one that is very interesting for us, the, the kickstart 1.3. Uh, you see that's basically a, a command lines that um, uh, that are specific for uh, for our environment here, here at Linux, right? And that just set up the, everything you need to um, to compile for the for the for the target, right? So. Let's copy them all. Okay, well, C C CVS, we don't care, that's just like a, just a marker for CVS. Um, what else? Oh, the NDK, we can move the NDK to, um, uh, to the sun directory. I'm, I'm a little bit lazy here. Boom, done. Okay. Uh, so we have all that. So on top of this, I um, I think, oh, I think I missed something. Um, so yeah, I, I missed something. Uh, we need also this one. Which is, um, which is, which are basically the basic uh, headers for VBCC for, for uh, uh, Motorola 68000 with the kickstart. Uh, so let's, let's install this. Everything, the linker, the assembler, and uh, uh, and the C compiler. In the config, you have all the configs that are extracted, but you need the ones for Linux if you are, want to use them on Linux. That's the standard Amiga SDK, NDK, sorry. And finally, you need uh, those those headers for for VBCC for. For the Amiga platform. So you see, like the, that, those are basically the STD lib and so on, right? like or the equivalent, right? The, the standard lib for, for C. All right, now, um, now when you compile, you you always do the same thing. So I I made myself a little a little, um, uh, so a, a little um, wrapper. So I don't have to change too much things in my environment there. So let's look at how it looks like. So I just 
uh, that's that's an executable. I put that, that as an executable. I set the VBCC, uh, which is in, in our room. Here we, here we are now. Uh, added the VB, VBCC bin to the to the path, so so it can find the assembler and so on, right? And I just add for everything the, the, um, the includes for the Amiga OS. Uh, so that puts it it's there in dash. Uh, I, I use like C99. Uh, um, for now, I didn't have a problem, so you, you might be might need to remove it if you have like uh, old C uh, programs. But for now, it, it worked, and I set it up as like uh, using my config for uh, Kickstart 1.3, right? And this is basically forwarding all the parameters for the script to the to the compiler. So let's see let's see if it works now. Let's let's, um, let's do like a, a test. Uh, a test directory and let's just uh, do like a uh, hello world, right? It was correctly formed, but with help. All right, looks like it compiled an a.out. Let's check what, what it is. Yes! This is an Amiga executable. So here we go. You have uh, everything you need to uh, uh, to reproduce what I did in uh, my previous video, and uh, have a working compiler on your normal desktop, uh, Windows, Linux, or Mac OS, um, to compile directly your libraries. Right. So uh, another thing, uh, another cool feature that you have in um, in um, FS U, U, uh, UAE. So this is this is the um, Amiga uh, Amiga emulator, right? You can uh, go there uh, on hard drives, right? And you can mount basically um, you can mount directly your your uh, your um, um, your directories, right? As uh, as an hard drive, even even on an Amiga 500. So is not there this is uh, so let's mount our our folder right and start so here we go you see that there is my uh, destination di directory there 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 are just installed like a standard uh, Standard workbench, right? Um, if I go to DH1 or CDH1, okay, you see, this is my uh, my output for my hello world. Let's try 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 it out. Bam! Hello from the Amiga. Cool. Uh, thank you so much, my my little guinea pigs. And um, if you like uh, like this uh, video, please give it a thumbs up. Please uh, subscribe um, and uh, see you next time.